Hello everyone, good afternoon. Lakeisha McKinnon here with Pharmacy and we've made the video to talk about our skincare routine and selecting the best skincare routine and how important it is. So now that we've got the most important thing out of the way, let's talk about how to pick the right foundation for your skin type. So what is your skin type? Is it acne prone? Do you have aging skin? Dry skin? Oily skin? Combo skin? Sensitive skin? Let's talk about it. So, as in the case with nearly every makeup product we own, the quest to find the perfect foundation for your skin type can leave you overwhelmed. There are so many different formulas, textures, and ingredients out there, so choosing one isn't just plain and simple. So, to help us wade through the choices, we have some suggestions from a makeup artist for his advice on how to pick the best foundation for your skin type. So if you have acne prone skin and it's a major concern, he recommends a medium to full coverage foundation. So when applying your foundation, you use a clean brush or a clean sponge every application and apply the product in a stippling motion. So he recommends a full coverage foundation, which we have the Stay Matte Foundation Full Coverage or the VFX Pro Camera Ready Velvety Finish Full Coverage. So one is gonna be matte, one is gonna be a velvety finish. Or you can use the Flawless Touch Pita Cream, which is full coverage as well. Okay, if you have aging skin, where heavy products can settle into fine lines and wrinkles, opt for light coverage or liquid foundation or tinted moisturizer for younger looking skin. So I would probably say either the BB cream or the CC cream because they're both lightweight, ultra lightweight. Or you could also choose the tinted moisturizer from the Be Fit line. So if you have dry skin, he recommends a light coverage hydrating foundation and use your fingers to apply the product onto your skin for a longer lasting for longer lasting coverage. So, I will probably again for dry skin use either the Beauty Balm or the CC color correcting because they're both light lightweight and hydrating. Okay, and if you have oily skin, he says ditch the shine, choose a medium to full coverage foundation. When applying your product, use a sponge or brush because using your fingers can transfer the oil from your hands to your face. So he says a medium to full coverage foundation. So we have either the Beauty Balm, the CC, they're both medium to high coverage, the Luminous Serum is medium coverage or the Flawless Touch Pizza Cream, which is full coverage as well. Now, he's also saying if you have combination skin, you can choose whether you want to be more dewy or more matte. But a slightly matte foundation will keep the T-zone oiliness at bay. And you can always add a highlighter to your cheeks for a soft glow. Your coverage and application tool is completely up to you, but try not to use your fingers on the oily areas as much so that you won't clog your pores. So he's saying that you can use basically the Stay Matte Foundation or the VFX Pro Camera Ready. Because this is matte and this is a velvety this is matte and this is a velvety finish. And or you can use the luminous serum because that is a semi matte and dewy finish as well. So sensitive skin, sensitive skin likes to act up, so stay away from products that are too heavy or too fragranced. You want to keep any and all aggressors to a minimum. That's why a mineral foundation is always a good bet. Keep the coverage on the lighter side and always apply with a clean brush or sponge so you don't give your, your skin a reason to act up. So I know a lot of people don't um, clean their brushes 
often, but this is saying apply with a clean brush. So that means that every time you use it, you need to be cleaning it or you need to have a lot of brushes. So basically for sensitive skin, he's saying use a mineral foundation. And I don't really know if we have a mineral foundation, but if you have sensitive skin, you can feel free to, these are just suggestions that I'm giving. Um, you can feel free to use any one of these and let us know which works best for you. But I think the most important tip is to just make sure that you're using clean brushes and sponges so that um, you don't have to worry about your skin acting up. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.